I said stop flaming if you do your f***ing prep. Thanks to Raven for the help and stuff. You rock. You're a lot of prep. Thanks for my sweater. Plus, the other reason Dumbledore swore is because he's trying to be gothic, so there. I woke up the next day in my coffin. I walked out of it and put on some black eyeliner, black eyeshadow, blood red lipstick, and a black, really low cut leather dress that was all ripped down in strips and you could see my belly. I was wearing a skull belly ring with black and red diamonds inside it. The night before Draco and I went back to the skull, get it, skull, cause I'm gothic and I like death. Dumbledore chased Voldemort away. We flew there on our brooms. Mine was black and the broom stuff was blood red. There was lace all over it. Draco had a black MCR broom. We went back to our rooms and we had you know what to a Linkin Park song. Well, anyway, I went down to the Great Hall. There, all the walls are painted black and the tables were black too. But you could see that there was pink pant underneath a black pant and there were pastas, opposer bands everywhere like Ashley Simpson and the Backstreet Boys. WTF, I shouted, going to sit next to Bloody Mary and Willow. Bloody Mary was wearing a black leather mini with a good charlotte t-shirt, black fishnets and black pointy boots. Willow was wearing a black, long black gothic dress with blood red writing that was all lacy and came up to your thighs and black boots and fishnets. Vampire, Dracula and Draco came. We started to talk about who was sexier, Mikey or Gerard Way or Billy Joe Armstrong. The boys joined in because they were bi. Those guys are so fucking hot. Nabel was saying, as suddenly a gothic old man with a black beard and everything came. He was the same one who had chased away Voldemort yesterday. He had normal tan skin, but he was wearing white foundation and he had dyed his hair black. Dumbledore? Dumbledore. We all gasped. WTF, I shouted angrily. I thought he was just wearing that to scare Voldemort. Hello everyone. As you can see, I gave the wrong makeover. Which act do you think about it? Everyone from the poser table in Gryffindor started to cheer. Well, we goths just looked at each other, all disgusted, and shook our heads. We couldn't believe what a poser he was one. BTW, you can call me Albert. He called as we left to our classes. What a f***ing poser. Draco shouted angrily as we went to transformation. We were holding hands. Vampire looked really jealous. I could see him crying blood in a gothic way. Get it? Way like Gerard? But I didn't say anything. I bet he's having a midlife crisis. Willow shouted. I was so f***ing angry. 